audience at home. I'd just like to inform the guests that we have here this evening, this is the only screen that is working. This one's not working this evening, so if you want to follow along on the big screen, I recommend you move over in the middle a little better. You'll probably be able to see it, okay? Thanks. I now declare the meeting open for this evening and uh, ask if there's any conflicts of interest amongst council members. Thank you very much. Looking for the adoption of public agenda for Monday, January the 19th. Councilor Bondi, Councilor Caxero, any questions? All in favor? Motion carries. Uh, looking for the adoption of December 15th, regular council meeting. Councilor Volk, supported by Councilor Caxero. Any questions? All in favor? Motion carries. December the 8th, special council meeting. Councilor Bondi, Councilor, or Deputy Mayor Malash. Thank you very much. Any questions? All in favor? Motion, quest, motion carries. December the 15th, reconsideration of report meeting. Councilor Caxero, Deputy Mayor Malash, any questions? All in favor? Motion carries. Uh, we had one public presentation, but that's been postponed until further notice. Uh, we'll go right now to unfinished business. A, committee board appointments. First one being the Town of Kingsville Elk Inc. Board of Directors nominees. Okay, and supported by Councillor uh, Snively. What we're going to do now is there's two names put forth <clears throat> by the municipality of Kingsville, and one of these. No? Oh, later. Okay. Yep. Okay. All in favor? Receiving it. Motion carries. Uh, Town of Lakeshore, the LK Energy Board of Directors nominees. Councillor Caxero, Councilor, Deputy Mayor Malash, any questions? All in favor? Motion carries. Here we go. Committee Board of Appointments, ELK Energy Board. We have uh, the Mayor of Essex and four council members to be put on this board. Councilor Bondi and then Councilor Vokes. Okay. Councillor Bondi is putting her name forward. Councillor Vokes also. Councillor Bjorkman. Councillor Caxero. Deputy Mayor Malash. And no, Mr. Snively. No? Okay. So we have five positions. Five people for four positions. Okay, so. Cheryl, just, are we going to do this? Okay, what I'll do is I'll read off the council member name of the five who want to stand for this position, and I'll just get a show of hands from council. You vote once, yeah, for one of the members, one of the five. Okay, Councillor Bondi. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And anybody else who wishes to. No, there's. Yeah. No. No. Through your worship, no, there are six council, or actually there's seven council members because we have uh, the mayor here. So I will call out the name of one of the five who wish to be appointed. If, if you uh, want that person to be appointed to the Elk Energy Board uh, as a council rep, you raise your hand. Mm-hmm. That would allow, like myself, to vote for four people. Yeah. No? Oh. Yeah. I yeah. 
should be able to. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. So, okay, Sarah? Point of clarification, we can vote for four people. Right. When the names are called, the five names, we can vote for four of them. That's correct. Yes. yes. Very good. Okay. Yeah, so... Contra Bundy, question? Yes, if I may, just wondering if we can state why we think it's important for us to be on that board. It makes sense. Okay. I personally would like to seek the position on the Elk Energy Board because I've had two years off of the board and my ward is serviced by Elk and there's been a lot of developments recently in Harrow Centre and for the last two years I felt that my hands have been tied. I also um, have the time energy and I also have a light committee load this term of council, uh, not almost purposely to hope to, hope to get this board but, uh, but I, would, I would like to be on the board for those reasons. Councillor Bundy. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Councillor Votes, any comment? No, not really. I, I, I'm not going to give a speech. I, I, I want to join the board. I've committed to the board. I've worked on the board in the past, and and uh, I'm just ask my council support me be on the board. Thank you, sir. Councilor Bjorkman? Yes, I'd like to be on the board for the fact that the board represents uh, Ward 1 and Ward 4, and I think it's important for the Bill's representative to be on the board. Councilor Caxero? I have nothing. And Deputy Mayor Malash? I've been on the board in the past as well and uh, enjoyed being on the board, but uh, going forward, um, one of the things that's going to be looked at over the next few years is perhaps taking on some of the rural area here in Essex. There's potential for that, and I'd like to be part of those uh, talks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Council votes. Thank, thank you for giving me the opportunity, Your Worship, to speak to this real quickly. Look, there's five members who want to sit on the board. Here we are making things confusing again for probably $1,000 a year. There's five members who want to sit on the board. And at any given time, one of the council members could be absent. So pro I'm going to tell you, 90% of the time, there will be four of the five council members there. And if all five are there, then the t we're on the hook for another grand to get a job done. I don't understand why we're doing this. I don't understand why we're taking one of our councillors and, and not allowing him the opportunity, whoever it may be, to sit where he wants to contribute. It makes no sense. None. No sense to me at all. Well, I can tell you that council decided, I think the last meeting or whatever, that the composition it would be made up of nine nine people, and this is what we're doing here tonight. If we didn't like it back then, you know, we should have stood up and said, no, we only want five or whatever. But that's why we're doing it the way we're doing it right now. This is what we have said we were going to do. Okay, Councillor Bondi's first name up. All those in favor of? No. No. She puts four names forward she wants. Oh, she, you're going to put four names forward that you want. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, Councillor Vokes, Councillor Bjorkman, Deputy Mayor Malosh, and you're already in, right? And myself. Sorry, Councillor Coxero. Councillor Vokes. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to support Councillor Coxero for sitting on the board. Everybody else is in. Thank you, sir. Councillor Bjorkman. Yes, Councillor Bondi, Councillor Vokes, myself, and Councillor Block. Yes, you're right. Okay. Councillor Coxero. My 
myself, Deputy Mayor Malosh, Councillor Vokes, and Councillor Bondi. Councillor Snively. Councillor Vokes. Councillor Coxero. Councillor Bondi. Deputy Mayor Malaj, and yourself. <coughs> Deputy Mayor Malaj. Thank you, through you, Your Worship, um, the Mayor, myself, Councillor Bondi, Councillor Vokes, Councillor Bjork. And with all due respect, my good friend, Councillor Caxero, I'm going to leave Bill's name off the list myself. Thank you, Mr. Snively, for joining us. Okay, so we have Councillor Bondi, Councillor Vokes, Councillor Bjorken, and Deputy Mayor Malash and the Mayor. No, he didn't. Mover and seconder. Looking for a mover and a seconder for that board. Councilor Vokes, Councilor Caxero. Any questions? On favor? Oh. 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 Councilor Caxero. Yes, sir. Through your worship. Were we going to just move uh, the council members or all the members? Right now. Council just council? Just council? Then we'll do it in the now. Okay. Uh, Councilor Bundy? May we add that Councilor Coxero be an alternate? Heaven forbid one of us get hurt, that we don't miss a beat, and he be, or one of us needs to take a year off for some reason? Need a motion to that effect. Councilor Bundy moves. Point of order. Councilor Bjorkman. Point of order. Can we vote on the first motion? Oh, yeah. Point the four motion. Okay. All in favor of the motion. Motion carried. Now Councilor Bundy has a motion. Yeah. Supported by Councilor Bjorkman. Any questions to that motion? With approval of Councilor Caxero? Okay. All in favor. Motion carries. Thank you, Sherry. Arts, Culture, and Tourism oh, Committee. Oh no. oh, no, we got all the no. others. That was uh, ours. No. Ward 1, member. Oh, board. We all have, uh, you can all put a name forward now, okay. I believe. Right. Then we're going to. Yeah. Oh, that way. Okay. Councilor Bonnie. I would like to support Phil Pocock. Yes. Councillor Vokes. Go this way, the other way the next time. Same, same name. Uh, support Phil Pocock. Councillor Caccero. I will support Phil Pocock also. Okay. Councillor Snivy? Phil Pocock. Okay. Deputy Mayor Malash. Morley Bowman. And uh, myself, I'm going to put Wayne Miller's name forward. And uh, the reason I'm going to put Wayne's forward is he's been around since hell froze over. Sometimes that's good, sometimes it's bad. But uh, he was there when we purchased this from Lakeshore and Kingsville. And things like this are in the works. 
going forward. So it's good to have someone like that knows the ropes. So that's the reason I'm going to put Wayne's name forward. Yep. So Phil has the majority, so he is a member from Ward 1, Councillor Bondi, Councillor Bjorkman. Any questions to the motion? All in favor? Motion carried. Ward 4 member for the ELK customer representative. Councillor Bondi, do you want I would, to go first again? I would like to support Peter Timmons, please. Council Vokes. Council Bjorkman. Uh, Bill Park. Councilor Caxero. Uh, Sean Mulder. Councilor Snively. Peter Timmons. Mayor Lush. Sean Mulder. And I am going to support Peter Timmons. So the Ward 4 representative with a motion would be Peter Timmons. Councillor Caxero. Councillor Snively supports. I'll that. Okay. Any questions? All in favor of the motion. Motion carries. Now we need two members, one being from Kingsville and one being from Lakeshore, or or two members from Lakeshore, or two members from Kingsville. <clears throat> it's one and one or Two and zero, whatever you prefer, the names that were submitted out of the four. Want to go a different order? Sure. Sure? Oh. Should stay in the same way, okay. Two, please. I would like to support uh, Tracy Bailey from Lakeshore and Gary Bain from Kingsville, please. Councillor Vokes. Councillor Bjorkman. Wow, you guys look good together, I think. Okay. Councillor Caxero. I will support the same two names. Nobody else gets four, right? All done? Okay. Councilor Snively, go ahead. If you'd like. No well, need to. But, yep. We've already got them, so. But Cheryl says we should still follow through. <laughs> I'll support the same two. Okay. Deputy Mayor Malash. Support the same two. Okay. And uh, I think I was going to support. Two from Lakeshore, that being Warden Tom Bain and uh, Tracy Bailey. Okay, thank you. So now we need a motion. Councillor Caxero, supported by Councillor Bjorkman, that the two are Tracy Bailey and Gary Bain. All in favor of the motion. Motion carries. Thank you very much. Arts, Culture, and Tourism Committee, one council and up to nine appointees. Do we have a volunteer from the Councillor Caxero? I'd like to put forward my name. Okay. Councillor Snively? I'd like to forward my name also. Okay. Anyone else? Well, 
Wait, what? Anyone else want to put their name for the arts and culture? Committee? Councillor Caxero and Councillor Snively. Anyone else for the third time? Okay. Here we go again. Oh, Councillor Vonley. Thank you. I don't I don't know if we if it's set in stone that we can only have one council member on this committee, but I don't see why we would limit it to one council member on this committee. It sounds like it could be a lot of work. So I would personally like to support both of them. Any reason why we can? No. Nope. Good. Works for me also. Someone make a motion that they're both on? Sure. Councilor Bundy? Sure. Councilor Bjorkman? Any questions to the motion? All in favor of the motion. Motion carries. Thank you very much, gentlemen. The Heritage Essex Board. Oh, the nine members. Nine members or nine members up to nine? And we had nine. Motion. Accept them all. Councilor Bjorkman, Councilor Caxero, support. Thank you. Any questions of motion? All in favor? Motion carries. Thank all those nine also for putting their names forward. Now the Heritage Essex Board, looking for one council member for sure, and or Deputy Mayor Malash. I'll put my name forward for the Heritage. Okay, Deputy Mayor Malash. Anyone else? Anyone else one more time? Third time. Anyone else? Thank you very much, sir. The motion to accept the, the appointment of Councillor Snyder and Councillor Caxero. Any questions? Yep. Do we have more residents that have submitted their names? Last time I checked, there was only a couple. Are there more now? For what? The Heritage Committee. No, this is Oh, this, okay, the Heritage Board. Okay, sorry, I was mistaken. Okay, all in favor. Motion carries. Thank you very much. Councilor Bondi? Thank you. Uh, a question to the clerk, if I may. There, there's been um, a couple of emails and some misunderstanding about the Coan Park Committee and the alternate. And um, I just I want a clear understanding of what the alternate is. So the alternate is if the regular member can't attend for a significant period of time, not just one meeting. Or is that like one meeting? Deputy Mayor Malash? Yeah, the, kind of the rule that we've been following is that if someone misses three meetings without actually having a good reason like or saying that they weren't going to be at the meeting and then all of a sudden just doesn't show up um, we consider that person done and then we start looking for somebody else but um, fortunately at this point in time we've got somebody else to step right in which is perfect perfect thank you thank you number eight reports from administration corporate services report number clerk 2015 that's zero zero one quarter revision on an avenue drain councillor caxero i'll move the recommendation supported by I'll councillor support. snively any questions but, you know, okay. but we need members yeah. there's no one three people right yeah okay now we need three people to put their names forward to sit on this councillor caxero i will there's one yep dipping mayor melange also? Yes. Councilor Bondi? <coughs> okay, that's the three we need. Anyone else? Yeah. Councilor Caxero. So I'll amend my motion to read that uh, I'll move the recommendation with myself, uh, Deputy Mayor Malash, and <coughs> Councilor Bondi sitting on the court of revision. Okay. Second it. All in favor? Motion carries. Thank you very much, gentlemen and young lady. Councilor Snively? Er, Randy Vogt. 
Thank, you. thank you. Um, before we move on, our, our computers aren't working, so we're, we're having a hard. Me and me and Mr. Borkman, Councilor Borkman, have a hard time following along here. Um, no, I realize that. But what's it at? It's a okay. Okay. All right. But I, did we did we in trying to get our computers working? <coughs> did we ask for new business? Anything? Anybody want to talk about new business? Yeah. yeah we missed that. Yes, you know. Yeah. You have signed. Yeah. Sherry's is in motion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, new businesses back at the end if you have any. At the end. Yeah. Yeah, no, I just wanted to I just wanted to point out to council I got something I want to raise in new business tonight. Okay. Just just Okay, so Does anyone else have a problem? Oh, is that the password to put oh, it? You have no, to. no, the way you, when you normally put it. Uh, I've got the agenda. Yeah. It'll just come up like this. See, I try going back. Watch. I can help him if you want to move on. Okay. So I got her. So that's her. Okay, we're at B, Building Department, Report Number 2014-12, December 2014, Building Report. Motion received, Mr. Smart. Councilor Volks moves, supported by Councilor Caxero. Any questions? <coughs> On favor of the motion? Motion carries. C, Community Service Report Number 2015-001, Harrow Health Center, the Gregor Satellite Offices, Lease Renewal. Councilor Bjorkman, Councilor Snively, any questions? All in favor? Motion carries. D, Community Services, report number 2015-002, Essex Center Silo Mural Proposal. Three recommendations. Councilor votes. Motion to support, but with a, a point of interest, if I could. Okay. Moved by Councillor Vokes, supported by Councillor Caxero. Councillor Vokes. In terms of in terms of this the, the silo project and approval of this, we have Mr. Jolene is here tonight. And I was just wondering if council would give him a minute of a five minute opportunity to explain the latest discoveries with the silo project. I think it's important for council to get a gist of what's going on there as a result of approving this. Moved by Councillor Vokes, supported by Councilor Bjorkman, to allow. Oh, we have a motion on the floor. Okay, we'll deal with this motion, and you make your. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. All in favor of the motion. Clarification. Oh. The motion was to support the recommendations, or just to receive. At this point, I think we should just receive and not support. Is that your intention, Councilor? Yeah, um, yes. That's what I want to do before. So, so in terms of, of procedure. I want I want people to hear from Mr. Jolin, Council to hear from Mr. Jolinas before approving this 15. So let's just receive, so, so let's just receive it. Yes. But my question would be to the council members that just want to receive it. We have the recommendations from administration. 
What? Pull the motion back. Okay. 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 So we had Randy and Bill make the motion. Withdraw your motion. I withdraw. And I'll withdraw my motion. Okay. Councilor okay. Cacheros? Good. Now make your motion to allow I'm Mr. Jolinas. I'm putting a motion okay. to council to allow Mr. Jolinas five okay. minutes to talk to the update of the silo project. Supported by Councilor Bjorkman. Any questions to the motion? All in favor? All in favor? Thank, Thank you. you very much. Hey, Chris, how are you? Yep, go ahead. You worked those things before, sir. Uh, thank you very much for having me. As unexpected, I was expecting to speak this evening. I was just here to witness or just to, to, to see uh, what the outcome might, might be. Um, so uh, just real quick, maybe about five minutes here. Uh, prior to uh, the Christmas holidays, uh, we had our latest mural uh, delivered to us by uh, Winnipeg artist Charlie Johnson. Um, which was just installed recently on the back of the Dollar Tree store, which uh, replaced our first mural, uh, our, uh, our station, our town. Just want to make sure that uh, everybody's aware that there is a new mural in the community that uh, we just had installed. And if you haven't had a chance to see it, go see it. It's fantastic. And it shows the explosion from 1907 and a few other things. Every time you go, you'll see something new. It's fantastic. Anyway, that's the different side point. Uh, while Charlie was down delivering the mural, uh, we had an opportunity to sit and discuss the, uh, the progress of the silo uh, mural for the future. And as uh, Charlie and I were discussing the, uh, the project, we were talking about the uh, funding and coming uh, across corporate sponsorships uh, in the past uh, six opportunities that have failed. They've been declined for cor corporate sponsorships. Then also uh, a, a Trillium grant uh, through the Trillium Foundation that was also declined at the time. Just because there wasn't any uh, action taking place with the, with the whole sil silo district. So the biggest issue uh, that uh, Trillium Foundation said was that there's nothing else happening around it, so we don't feel that our money's worth spending on the project because nothing else is coming from it. It just, nothing around it's been uh, improved in any way. So we, uh, we failed on those seven attempts. Um, so as I was speaking and, and letting Charlie, uh, keeping up to speed with the project, he said to us, he said, well, what do you have? And I said, well, apart from the $35 I think we have in the budget, I said, we do have uh, money set aside towards either removal of the silo, stru silo structure or contributing to the project if the, tr the project moves forward. Uh, without speaking with the administration or finding out exactly what was in the fund, uh, I, I, I said it was somewhere around $275,000 is what I, was, I thought at that time is what it would cost to remove the silo themselves. Basically what uh, Mr. Johnson proposed was, what if I were to paint the mural for $275,000? And I said, well, could you give me a little bit more information as what you mean by that? He says, well, for 275000 plus the tax, of course, I would uh, take care of all the expenses when it comes to the paint, the material, the lift involved, um, also uh, for compensation, for liability insurance. He would take care of the entire project, uh, which would begin with block filler of the entire silos, all nine of them, uh, then primer. Well, I guess he'd start power washing. I'm sorry. He said he'd power wash the silos themselves, all nine of them first. Apply any block filler to, to cover and expose rebar, uh, apply a primer, then a top coat, and then a Nova color uh, for the mural itself. He said that uh, while he was here doing the power washing, the block filling, and the priming, he'd also work with the mural committee, or now the Arts, Tourism, and uh, the Act Committee, uh, in, in coming up with the, the, or the, the, the mural itself. So he would sit down with us and come up with about three or four different plans and say, here's the three or four different murals that you could choose from and we'd have an open house one night and everybody would just choose the, the one that would uh, suited the best for the community and uh, that's the one he would paint. He would also uh, paint the 3D model that we have at the train station so it would look exactly like the mural is going to look so while he's up there for eight months because he said the project should only take him eight months from start to finish so he would begin in March and he'd be done by November and while he's up painting uh, for the eight months uh, that 3D model would be displayed so people would be, uh, be able to see what it visually would look like at the end. Uh, so they can see the work in process while he's here. Uh, he'd also provide us with a five-year warranty on the mural, and uh, life expectancy is 25 to 30 years before you'd have to add a top coat, or uh, it's called B72, which is a, it's a, a, like a, a clear coat over top. We just had five or six murals, four or five murals, sorry, uh, completed with the B72 uh, two years ago, three, uh, 2012, when we had the mural symposium here. 
and it brought the, the original color back to life. It just brightened it right back up to the day that it was painted. So he would say in about 25 years, he just applied the B72 to the, to the mural itself and it would bring it right back to the day that it was originally painted. Uh, from there, I spoke with uh, Mr. Sweet and explained the situation. Uh, we have emails from Charlie giving us great detail, which is in the report that, uh, that you uh, have all reviewed, exactly what's, what's going to be taking place. But like I said, it would be a five-year warranty, uh, and uh, life expectancy would be 30 years. Any questions for me at all? Questions of Council? Council Bundy? Thank you. Thanks for coming out tonight, Chris. I'm sorry, I'm probably going to be the, the one that comes down heavy with the bearer of bad, um, of bad news, but I've spent a lot of time thinking about this issue. And um, when we applied for the grant monies for the silo district, it was in my understanding that I supported those, those grant dollars for the demo and to make a nice park around the Spitfire. I love what the Spitfire brings to our town. I love what everybody is doing down here. But I, I sit here and I struggle and um, politically, I, I can't support spending another red cent on investigating the murals politically and morally and, and subconsciously and, and uh, in my common sense of my, my body is saying that. I have a battle going on right now in Harrow High. I'm, I'm, we could be losing our school down there. To me, it's, it's one taxpayer, whether it's municipal or provincial or federal. I, I can't justify it. Uh, I can't justify spending unnecessary dollars on a capital project that is not core infrastructure. We're talking about Fairview Avenue. We can't give, we can't give Chris Wood and Nichols to, to make Fairview Avenue go away. And I'm not attacking you by any means. I, you know, I respect everything you're doing. You know, what I, you know, I think if, the, if we were going to entertain the idea of having an engineer look at the murals, I really think that money should come from fundraising from the mural committee, just like we have with dog parks. You know, um, People in Harrow Center say, how come Harrow Center doesn't have a dog park? I say, get a group together, fundraise, and come to council, just like the Essex Center did. You know, we, um, you know, we don't have a lot of murals or culture in Colchester, in McGregor, or Harrow. If I was going to support anything mural-related, arts or culture, I'd like to see it spread out throughout our entire municipality. So the removal of the silos will also have to happen in one day, whether it's 10 years from now or 15 years from now or 25 or 30. The cost will not be 200,000 or 250,000, then the cost could be 400,000, 500,000. For me, my gut is saying, and, and I, I'm anxious to see what the rest of council says, that it's poor municipal planning to spend money we don't have, whether it's provincial or federal or municipal, on a project like this at this time. I can't do it. I can't support it in any capacity. I thought that's the direction that we were going a couple, year, a couple months ago that we were going to say, hey, you know, we, we, we gave time. We've applied for six, the mural committee. I didn't do any work. I'm not going to say I did. The mural committee has applied for many grants and has been turned down for many grants. You know, I think if we could put as much energy into applying for education in Harrow Center, that's where my focus has to be. And I'm hoping that council sees that where the priorities are at the end of the day. So I'm sorry, Chris. I. I just have to politically say what I have to say. Thank you. Councilor Vokes. Thank you, Worship. Just in all due respect, Councilor Bondi, if the school closes out in Harold, that certainly won't be an initiative of this, this town council. That's up to the, the greater school board to come to the pumps and take care of that responsibility with the support of this council. And we've already surrendered a, a strong willingness to do that. As a matter of fact, I don't think they should be closing that school, and that's for another day. I think the, the flavor for tonight is to talk about outside of the 275000 we already have put away and then $15,000 for the study in terms of, of the taxpayers, what would the 10 of amount be to, to bring the silos to the painted state, and, right? Let, let's talk about that because if it's, because here's what, we, here's what we do, people. We do it, we keep doing it. And it's like I told Silene the other day when she called me and asked me about what ward in Ward 1, if anybody's seen the article in the free press, and, and, and Silene didn't put it in print, but I told her we're like, a, we're like a bunch of seven hamsters in a cage, and we just keep going around in circles, and nothing changes and nothing gets done. But we, we, we actually believe we're doing something. And when it comes to the town of Essex, the downtown corridor, here we are. Here we are again. We got an opportunity if 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 the 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 project doesn't 
and I'm quoting, and, and, I, and I'm, I want to be firm with this, if the project doesn't become a tax burden, here we are again as ca elected councillors living in fear of what people are going to say. It's what you're elected to do. You're elected to stand up to people and tell them why you're doing what you're doing, and in terms of of, of the cost of that, and, and at the same time guide it along in a project that doesn't become a tax burden. Look at the downtown corridor. It's deplorable. It's deplorable. Now, we have somebody who wants, has a strong willingness to put a community project in place to help along with money we already have sitting in reserve to cover it, and we're already Without any dialogue, with any discussions, we're throwing the baby out with the bathwater. No, nope, we don't want to do it. No, nope, um, we're already on the hook. No, nope, we said we're going to tear it down. No, nope, not interested. No, nope, no, nope, we got a school to keep open. No, nope, we got roads fixed. No, nope, no. Nope. Go look at the downtown corridor. It's a mess. It's a it's a disturbing mess. And and I would suggest to people again, as as Silene has quoted in her paper, that people better hang on. And you better get ready for the ride of a tax increase if you want to do something to clean up and fix a downtown corridor. Because we're status quo. We're that typical 1-2% tax increase and nothing being done. So I think we should talk to it. And at the end of the day, in a short-term period, I had said to Doug tonight, let's look at a time frame. Mid-March, it either goes on or it comes down. One or the other. No dragging it out. No making it complicated. Look how much it's going to cost. Look how much we can do fundraising. And if it doesn't make sense, no later than March, middle of March, Chris, respectfully to you, they come down if it doesn't make taxable sense. And I'll leave it at that. But we've got to start pushing a little bit, people. You've got to take the chance as an elected politician and get the people talking and find out what they want. I can tell you, everybody I talked to today, in terms of having the discussions about not really being on the hook for it, we're supportive of it. And that's as sure as I'm sitting here, and I'll give you those names, and you can go talk to the people yourself. Okay, before I turn the mic over to Councillor Snively, uh, I just heard a statement that we have money in reserves for the silo project. But I, I don't think that's so. I don't think we have any money in reserves for the... Mr. Sweet? Dear Worship, the money's in proposed in the 2015 budget, but the money's not in reserve. It's put in last year and deferred to be put back in this year. So it's not in reserve, but it's proposed for the upcoming budget deliberations. Okay. Yep. Okay. Councillor Snively? Yes, Your Worship. Um, I, I'm very concerned that. Uh, spending taxpayers money the, this is a project that's been going on for years and years and years and uh, we have a couple of them in Essex here uh, just refer to the uh, the silos and then we have another one with the arena project over there that arena has been sitting there we've been sinking taxpayers money into these two projects it's got to stop uh, we we've got a budget to, to come to Essex here, and we're going to have trouble reaching the budget without a tax increase. We have roads that's failing, we have sewer lines that's outdated, we have water lines outdated, and here we're, we're talking about spending money on a silo project again. And yes, Councillor Vokes, it comes around and around, and it's the same issue year after year with these two projects. I will not support any taxpayers' money going into such a project. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Mayor Malash. Thank you, through you, Your Worship. Um, I, I applaud the enthusiasm and the spirits that the, the mural committee has uh, in regard to this project. Um, in talking with many, many individuals, um, something that Council agreed was that we were not going to spend any uh, taxpayer dollars, and uh, I think that was pretty well the sentiment across the across the floor here uh, when we talked about this several times now over the last couple of years uh, we wanted some fundraising dollars to come forward and it doesn't look like that's going to happen at this point in time um, I'm going to agree with what most persons are saying around the table here is that uh, we don't have the dollars there's too many projects 
uh, in our infrastructure that we have to take care of first before we would be able to <coughs> commit any dollars towards um, towards repairing the silos. And uh, I can remember in the last report that we had, and I think that's going back three or f maybe even four years ago, um, that there was extensive repairs that would have to be done to the silos in order for them to be able to uh, have have any length of uh, life to have a mural on them. And um, I think it's time, I, I, I think we're done at this point in time from my perspective as, as far as looking at uh, trying to revitalize the, um, the murals. So that, that's kind of where I stand right now. Thank you.